In this video today, we're going to showcase how project property information comes across from MBS through slide rule into Tecla structures. Here within MBS, I'll go to utilities, job information, and we can see our manufacturer name as well as our address here, the dealer or whoever is potentially the owner or the customer information, as well as the project uh, name, project number, which is the same as the MBS job holder. Uh, name here and then we also have our ability to enter in the designer which will appear as the detailer on the Tecla title blocks. Okay so once we've got that set we would then run slide rule and import the model into Tecla structures. We'll then head over here to the project properties under the Tecla or file menu. Here we'll see the project ID as well as the project name comes across here and then we have our builder information as well as the address. Then if we come down to the very bottom, there's this user defined attributes. When we go inside of there, if we go to the fabricator information tab, we'll see that that information is coming across, which is again, us as the uh, manufacturer and our information is there. And then if we go over to the project team tab, we can see that the builder's information or the customer's information actually comes across in here. So that shows you how the project properties gets copied across from slide rule and where that data goes. Then from here, we'll go to the document manager and let's just open up one of our erection drawings. So here inside of the erection drawing, if we go down to the title block, we can see that there is the manufacturer uh, name as well as address. Then we have the uh, designer coming across here, which will show the drawn by. And then we also have the project ID or the job number that's coming across here, as well as the project name, for instance, example project. Now, if I double click and open up the template editor here, bring that over here to this side. If we zoom in, basically what I did is I modified all of the title blocks in the MBS firm folder. So that way it has uh, some if then statements here. So if the uh, basically the fabricator information or the manufacturer information is not filled in and it's just the default values that Tecla has in its model template when you create a new model, then it's going to use the hard coded uh, name that I have in this string here. Otherwise, it will actually, if it's not equal to that and something else is filled in coming across from MBS, then it's gonna use that project user defined attribute for the fab name, fab address, and address to, et cetera. So that way you can have the MBS information come across, or you can come in here and hard code whatever name that you specifically want. For additional training and setup and configuration of MBS slide rule with Tecla structures, please reach out to me at my contact information shown, and I'd be glad to help.